Nine weeks out from snap elections, Portugal's ruling Socialist Party, PS, formalized Pedro Nuno Santos as their new leader in place of Antonio Costa, who quit as prime minister and party head in November amid a corruption investigation. Costa led the EU member state for eight years, but stepped down on November 7 owing to a probe into his administration's handling of energy-related contracts. He had been re-elected in January 2022, with the Socialists also capturing an absolute majority in Parliament, a rare feat among Europe's left-wing parties. Santos won the support last month of 62% of party members and is now targeting a poll success on March 10. The enormous responsibility of writing a new chapter in the book of PS governments and the country's development falls to us, Santos said as he wrapped up a speech to a party congress in Lisbon before watching Costa. Santos, a 46-year-old economist from the party's left wing, had himself resigned from Costa's government in December 2022 during an earlier scandal involving a €500,000 severance package paid to an executive at state-owned national airline TAP. Santos had also served as the Secretary of State for Parliamentary Affairs in Costa's first government and played a pivotal role in enabling the socialists to come to power in 2015. He had long been seen as Costa's successor. The main centre-right opposition Social Democratic Party, PSD, was to sign a coalition agreement in the second city of Porto with two small right-wing parties, including the CDSPP, with which it governed between 2011 and 2015. Since then, the conservative landscape has been disrupted by the emergence of far-right Chega and the right-of-centre liberal initiative, Illinois, who in the 2022 elections managed to net 20 seats between them. Most recent opinion polls have the PSD and the PS neck and neck, but the right could return to power with support from Illinois and Chega. If Chega's party led by Andre Ventura is cast in the role of kingmaker after the elections that would represent a major rupture for Portuguese democracy, 50 years on from the revolution, which ended 48 years of fascist dictatorship and 13 years of colonial wars.